Hello YouTube world, this is Alex the Gaming Teacher and welcome back to my walkthrough of Pokemon Sapphire version. As you're watching this video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Okay, so here we are, continuing on with these humongous water routes and well, I guess I'm gonna fight with whoever I got. Yeah, I was looking at my movie file and comparison. I think we should be fine. As far as when we're about to get to the Elite Four. Because at this point, it's got a couple party members that were like under 40. You know, level 40. I've only used uh, two rare candies, so everybody's basically been earning their experience for the most part. I think what it was too is that I had uh, there's one Pokemon that had evolved at level 42, and then one that evolved at level 45. Oh, what the? Oh. But anyways, yeah. Let's see here. I'm gonna check where we're on the map, but we shouldn't be too far from the the last town. I think I'm just about ready though to take out Team Aqua, so should be able to do that on this on this episode. I'm just gonna play spam away with secret power here. Oh, maybe I should use dig. Oh, okay. Um. Well, this pipe won't level it up, so it's. Maybe I want to finish it off with secret power, since it's what's about to about to get rid of it. No, oh, my bad. Okay, well, I think with secret power you can always buy the TM over and over again. But slash is definitely what I wanted. High critical hit ratio. And there we go. Blaze again. All that's left, I'm just gonna teach a brick break. And good to go. All right, let's see what we got here. Okay, I think Pelliver will go next. Wait a second. Oh my gosh, I'm just going all over the place. Starting to run low on these repels. I feel like these, see all these rocks here are making me think that there's other areas to get to. Okay. What the? The swimmer got for me. I don't know where, but I'm pretty sure it was like another trainer that had a bunch of Gyarados. Oh, you know what? I think it might be on the route that's west of the town. But it's pretty tough to get to that trainer. Well, this one has a Gyarados, but I'm pretty sure it's one that had at least like three of them. Or actually, I think he had a Oh, I think I know what it was. It was like five Gyarados. And then one really high level Magikarp. But I think one of the Gyarados is like at level 10, but... Still they have pretty decent experience. So that's a trainer I cannot miss out on. 
That's a lot of experience that you'll get just in one battle. I'd like to know if I use Pelipper. Well, I don't know if I'll be two level gains, but a lot of experience you would get. Okay, uh, I said I'll just use Claydol. Let's check here. Alright, I think this is the last route before the town. I feel like they could have, you know, as you see, there's like a big area without trainers. They could have made these water routes shorter. But then I guess that meant that overall the world had to be smaller as well. In the other areas. But it's just like, man, it's a lot to explore. Uh, I don't know if Hyperion will take it out, so. Okay, the Nick Fury attack. I'd say the Horn attack missed that, that Horn attack was. I don't know if that's the move I was using, but I'm pretty sure it was 100%. Oh, it's because of the item, the Lax Incense. So, like, there you go. Even 100% accurate moves can sometimes miss. A pretty effective item, then. Defenses are not great. Yeah, Astonish. <laughs> not really a, it's a ghost move, but it's not that strong. Okay, Tentacruel. I think we'll stick with you. But yeah, basically... What was I saying? After we defeat, I don't know if it's saying after we defeat the eighth gym leader, or just once we're ready to get towards Victory Road, that's when we'll um, go to the game corner, buy those TMs, as well as the department store. But for now, there's gonna be like you know some trainers that are gonna have still some weak Pokemon, so we'll kind of keep these. Not a strong moves for that. Okay, let's say it's Brelum's turn. Um, hmm. Armaldo, that's also one I'm not gonna really use. Oh, that's Susie, it's my wife. Actually, well, Mariella, so Mariella facing her mom. So as far as the last gym though, of all water types. Then again you'll be fighting some like you know, we're fighting some water trainers here, so it's actually doable they can fight against them. So I don't know what I'm really saying. We'll see if we can try to get everybody involved. Because I think the last gym leader seeking is one of his Pokemon though. I think he does know water moves, so. see here. I was thinking using Pelipper Shockwave, but I'm like, eh. Pelipper is pretty much the one I'm going to use against that trainer with the Gyarados. Although, I know one thing is before you fight the gym leader, that, that's when we're going to already get Kyogre, the legendary. It's on the home screen of the game. Okay. Should still have a couple more repels, but we're probably gonna definitely have to buy some. Uh, I don't know. 
You know, I'm just realizing now is, oh my gosh, this is gonna be unfortunate. I think I'm gonna have to take two party members out, or, well, I don't have to take my body yet, but out of the five that we're using, one that's gonna have to take a seat because we're gonna need somebody that can dive underwater. We're also gonna need somebody that can use rock smash. So the zigzag gun's gonna have to come back. Unless Tentacle can learn Rock Smash, doubt it. Yeah, there's no way, so... It's fine, though, it's really not that many. I mean, again, it's just Aqua Grunts. Uh, let's see here. Let's put it on Mop, though. So yeah, Team Aqua Grunts, they're not gonna really give much experience. Then there is the one admin female one, and then Archie. But yeah, it's fine. It's not like I'm missing out a lot, so I'll just say, who am I not going to really use? Mm, I don't want to withdraw Pelipper, because I'll probably be flying from there. Uh, maybe I'll be Claydol. I don't know. Okay, what the heck am I going to use here? Wingle at level 34, this person could just not, did not want to evolve it. I'm guessing that's the one that the tuber, oh no, the tuber probably has a zoomer on. We all know that tumors, uh, tubers, pretty much that's all they had was Merrill's, the zoomerals that evolved for him. Pretty much tell by its name. Oh, wrong move. No, no, there's no critical hits. Be the quick claw that Armando is able to go first. So, yeah, some of these items are pretty effective, even if they don't increase power moves. Oh, and that was it. You can actually see them still. Yeah, I'm not sure if there's anything. I'm pretty sure there isn't, though. What is this guy? No. And then you. <laughs> I was born here. Okay, you were born on the sea. I just think that... I don't know, maybe it's only in the first couple generations where in order to fly to a place, you actually have to go to the Pokemon Center. But I think we're just about ready to go. So, ah, oh yeah, like I said, we're gonna have to... I know there's an area for sure that we have to use uh, Rock Smash, so... I feel like maybe it should have been somebody with the level 42, but... No. Oh, what? I gotta do... Oh my gosh, if I had done that, that would be terrible. I would have to just turn off the game. I do not want to release him. Okay, so let's just do play all. And I know there's gonna be a time where I need to have somebody in the party that can flash, and I don't want to teach that. Oh, what am I doing? My goodness. Okay, I'm not thinking right now. Okay, you're gonna have to go. And save the goon. Hopefully, you can pick me up a couple more rare candies. Now let's just check here, just in case, but I doubt it. See, I wonder if uh, Evolved into Tentacruel, that could learn uh, Rock Smash, but highly unlikely. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is fly to Moss Deep City. Not that, yeah, we definitely don't really need to use, well, I guess I should use Repel here.
Oh snap, we still have one in effect. Okay, I'm pretty sure it was this spot. I'm just gonna... Alright. Just because, you know, it moves slower when it's underwater. I missed an item. I don't know if there was like an item we could have examined, so maybe I should have dove right away, but... That's eh, fine. This is one spot that's... You know, maybe because we're so low underwater that... There's no, uh, Pokemon in this area. Music is very calm. Okay, it's just a heart scale. I'll change, I didn't even see. Okay, nothing there. But yeah, basically you can tell, because the other pl places we could die, there's like, it's not as low. You can see like the seaweed. And that's when you'll know that you're not in the right area to get to it, but seeing this is where we need to go. I'm just gonna check if there's any other items. Nope. I don't think an item finder, I'm pretty sure there's nothing else. But yep. No doubt. Who else would have taken the submarine? And here we go. Uh, when we get out of this area, there's going to be storming gonna be storming which you know one reason probably why I like Sapphire more I don't know overall I still feel like you know overall I find Groudon as a cooler Pokemon but this legendary is also really cool as well so there's not really that many grunts we'll be fighting though but in fact there's probably gonna be less grunts than the ones we fought in their hideout, but not oh, five. Maybe I should have used only a difference of three levels. See, these grunts are like, oh my gosh, level 37 Poochiana. Oh. Yeah, I gotta use the Sky Uppercut. It's fine, we take a little damage. They could use Mega Drain anyways, afterwards. Alright, this thing is to take their sky out first, but then I think it's... ...up north that we have to get through. Alright, level 38, Carvana. Let's actually see if Mega Drain takes it all out. That's right, though, we have to, uh... Get a mock bike and then go back to the safari zone. That's everything. You know, before we're ready to go to Victory Road, we'll do all that. Okay, so let's give this now to. Oh, Armaldo? Was he? No, okay. He'll be next. And then, if there's still more grunts, we'll get to. Basic and yeah, stop dancing around here. Well, that's right, we could have entered either way. Actually, no, then I need to go back because I think. Hold on a second. Oh, what the heck? Okay, this does not seem right. I feel like, um... Let's just see. I know if I get a little lost, I'll be fine. Yeah, see, I think one of these... Ah, oh, jeez, what the heck? One of these is probably gonna take me back to the 
entrance. Okay, that takes me there. What about this? Yep, I thought so. Goodness gracious. Should have just stuck to the plan and gone up north, because I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And we'll see if... I know we're supposed to go to that area, though, where there's like two boulders and two rocks to smash. Let's just first get through this. Oh. Again, there's gonna be like two routes to get through here, so let's see. Yeah, we have to go this way now. It's not gonna take long overall, though. I need to get off the bike. Oh, well, that's what it is. It's just... Both of those will take you to this water area. Okay, I feel like I need a... I don't know. If this is going to take me where I think it's going to take me... Yeah, we need to go back because I definitely missed a couple grunts. Oh, jeez, maybe... Can I just dig out of here? Gosh, now I need to get out of... Oh, what if I go up here? Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on? Okay, well that's fine. That works out. Okay, let's go back now to that area. Where there's two rocks and two boulders. Ooh, goodness, this is taking a little longer than I was, you know, intending. We just need to be on our shoes then. Yeah, so is this. But then again, it doesn't seem right. No, actually it does. Okay, so I think this is going to take us to another front that was there on the side. And there's like a few ledges. Oh no. Yep, here we are. Yeah, so it looks like that was it. There's just three grunts, and I think... Then the admin will be the next trainer. I'm sure we've had enough of these Poochianas and these weak grunts. It's one thing I never really noticed, but yeah, not a single one of them has an evolved Pokemon. Uh, well, Ancient Power is going to give it rough to get damage, so it doesn't really matter which one I go with. Ah, so you have one of each. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'm all though. I gotta see where it's speed at when it levels up, but... I know the Quick Haul doesn't make you go first on every single churn. Okay, but let's see if we go through here. Oh, what the heck? Is this... Oh... Well, wait a second though, what if I... Yeah, it's like, we don't have to go through there. Okay, so now when we go back to that area where we're surfing, that will basically be towards the end. Now, I think it doesn't really matter which one we enter. Because, yeah, let's see, we go over here. Unless... Oh wait, this is a different location, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I think I'm gonna... Yeah, this is probably not gonna be the right one to go to. But, if it is... First of all... 
Yeah, I don't think I'm even gonna be... Let's see, oh, if I go... Oh my gosh, no, that's... This is like almost reminding me of the uh, seventh gym. Always oh, just being taken back to... Yeah, I think it's impossible. We need to, uh... Oh, no, never mind. Alright, then what the heck now? Oh no, this is right. This will still take us to the, uh, same area. Alright, there we go. Okay. Just a little... Mind-boggling... Mind-boggling here. Oh wait. Is this a grunt? I don't think it is. Yep, it's the app. Man, I'm down to my last, uh, I got two more repels, one currently in use. Okay, Adam and Shelly, ooh, starts with Sharpedo, um... Well... Just gotta use... I don't know. Oh yeah, those special attacks. Gotta worry about that. There we go. Our Maldos attack comes through. So his attack is not as good as, you know, Blaziken's and the other, but... Okay, speed is at 64, so yeah, it's not great. The special defense is actually somewhat solid. Okay, I think I said I was gonna go... Just blaze it now. It's just a mighty Yenna, so... Hmm, should I try with Double Kick? Or maybe we'll go with Blaze Kick. Since your name is Blaze again. critical hit. Uh, but that's a special attack though, so... Now I know in future generations... I'm mistaking... Some moves like Blaze Kick, even though it's a fire type... Are actually physical. Yeah, that's kind of like what Team Rocket said. One of those executives in Team Rocket. I think it was the female one as well. Okay, let's see here. It's kind of like what I do here. Just make it all symmetric looking. Yep, and this is the final area. There's a TM for Earthquake. So we will give that to Armaldo. Soon enough. Okay, let's not use the last repel though. But we need to get ready for Maxi, and you know what? His Pokemon are gonna be pretty high level, so let's heal Armaldo here. Maybe everybody fully loaded. Okay, I wanna say he's gonna start with Mayana though. But you know what? Let's, uh, maybe use Zigzagoon as bait. Thankfully no wild Pokemon came out. Alrighty then, this is kind of considered like a gym leader fight. If you look at his Pokemon now in relevance to where we're at, probably more difficult than like uh, fighting Giovanni, but. Alright. He went with the takedown, so he actually dealt some damage on its own. So I guess exactly when hit something. But you know what? It's also a strategy where, because of Mighty uh, call ability, now no one's attack got lowered. 
Okay, what I want to use though is... I know he's going to have, I think, a Crobat. Perhaps Armaldo will go against it. Then maybe Pelipper. Or no, I could probably just use Prowlum against the Sharpedo. I know Blithigan cannot go against the other two, so... Let's see how much double kick will do here. Oh yeah, only one's needed. But I have to use it twice if I send out Blaziken right away. So it does have Crobat, so... I think he should be fine against... Empire has a flying move, but... I think a rock type though would help. Look at that, there's no way that Armaldo is faster than Crobat, so that's got it with a quick claw. Ooh, and how about this? Yep, if all your shots are raised and nothing can hurt there. Hmm. Should I just, uh. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just go ahead and. Oh, you know what? It's a super potion, though. Okay, so this should be enough to take it out still. It's just, are you going to hurt yourself? Ah, dang it. Well, it didn't actually do that much, though. The attack and defense are, like, dead even. I'm pretty sure the difference of the attack and defense on the Pokemon, that kind of bases how much damage it's going to do to itself. Yeah, Sharpedo. We're just gonna put an end to this right now. With Brellum. Oh my gosh, level 43. Let's just go Sky Cut. Ooh, dang. Uh oh. Alright, well. That was a critical hit, but. Yeah, Sharpedo's defense is not good at all. And boy, that's a lot of experience. So basically, it feels like, you know, Team Aqua this time are the bad guys. So you pick or choose, Ruby or Sapphire. That's why, in a way, Emerald. They're kind of both bad guys, but... Oh yeah, that's the other thing too, is that there's a bit lo heavy thunder and lightning. gonna sound on YouTube, the lightning sound. This is kind of like the part of the game where I'm just kind of like, just want to take my time because it's not the entire hole in the region that, you know, is getting rained on, but pretty much I think no. Yeah. Just a couple areas. Like, let me let me just quickly do this. If we fly to Moss Deep City. Yep. And if we fly to, I don't think Lily Cove has it though. It's not really within the sea, but let's see. No, it is. Alright. What about this one over here? Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's like, hey, all of a sudden we're out of the rain. Nah. 
let's get two things here. And, uh, let me see. We could actually deposit both party members so we can make room for, uh, Kyogre once we catch it. Although... Yeah, actually we can do that for now. I don't think we need to use Rock Smash for a bit. Wait a second, did it exactly have any items? It did not, okay. Oh, wait a second. What the heck? I need you back. Okay, and let's just heal up here. Okay, so what's gonna happen is we'll go into this cave area and Kyogre, we will build the ours. We already have the Master Ball with us. the challenge of trying to catch Kyogre with an Ultra Ball, but honestly, it's probably not going to resolve well. In fact, yeah, I don't even think I'd be able to survive it, because it does have Ice Beam already. So, let's just use this last repel. Oh, snap, that's right. I don't think we're going to need to use any Rock Smash. But it is going to be dark. I have to kind of go in circles a little bit. Fudge though, I used my last repel. Bernie. We also need to make sure we get the HM of Waterfall. Are there any wild Pokemon in this area? Should be the last one and waterfall should be in this spot here. Can't really miss it. I almost did, but Okay, so that's what we'll be teaching to Tenacro or Tenacool. Now I should have the master ball. Yeah. Alrighty then. Time to claim my reward. So the blue orb though. Of course, Kyogre, its favorite color. Or, you know what? Maybe this is what I'll do. Maybe I will try to catch it, but then if I'm down to my last Pokemon. But the problem is, I don't want it to freaking faint, so. Conservative with uh, what I'm doing here. Maybe I can do another Sky Cut, probably. Okay, the problem is I did not um, save the game, so it's like if I make it faint. Let me see here. If 
I use Ice Beam, will that make it faint? I'm just gonna try to throw some Ultra Balls at it. I gotta do it really soon though. Okay, we got in the red zone. Dang, we're able to get it to freeze, but... I'll just keep throwing all these balls at it so that way... <laughs> it's not like I'm gonna have to use them anyways. Yep, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, it has a Hydro Bomb. Yeah, there's no way you're gonna spy those. I'm making this look interesting, though. Fight to the last Pokemon here. If you make this fight go on very long, the timer ball might actually do... Well, what about this? A ball that works well in water and bug type Pokemon. It is a water type, but I doubt it. Actually, no, I should try it now. Yeah, it's very doable though. It might take some time, but not one of those things that would take forever. But I know this is not gonna work, but let's well, just try it. Yeah, it's like so much for working well against water types. I think they intended that to be for um, if it's not a legendary Pokemon. Interesting, if it misses with Hydro Pump, then when I bring out... Well, I can still use Ice Beam against our Maul though, but... And it has Body Slam against Blaze again. Oh goodness though, it's raising its special attack, so really any move will take it out. You know, unless it's Body Slam. I almost feel like I should just end this now though, it's like... It's going on forever. Oh goodness, now all of a sudden it doesn't want to take my party members out. You know what would definitely help is if I was able to like put it to sleep or paralyze it. And that's definitely what you would want to do. You know, catching like this, where there's no status condition, is extremely difficult. Okay, so we have one more Ultra Ball, so I'll, basically I'll just use that one. And then I think we'll try the timer ball. But then after that, nothing else is really gonna Wait, what? That works on weaker Pokemon. No. We know that. Great balls and Pokeballs balls are just pointless to try out. Yep. Yeah. Once you see it uh roll twice, then it's like, oop, do you have the feeling it's that there's a chance? Alright. Because it's gonna say again, rain's gonna continue to fall. Yeah. Oh, I'm curious though how, how effective, like based on every turn. It's probably gonna be like a lot of turns up, so you can see. Yeah, I didn't even shake at all. Okay, that's pretty much it though. Unless I want to do this one here. Let's just see what a nest ball looks like. Did it shake once on that one? It said it worked better on weaker Pokemon. Okay, I think we've had enough here though. I'm not trying to torture anybody. Let's claim our reward. And it's like, okay, the Master Ball. Go. Oh, one, two, three, and. Wait a second. I wonder if. Is this considered the ocean floor? Yeah, it doesn't matter though. Master Ball is probably the one I'm going to have to use anyway. So, took a sleep after a cataclysmic battle with Groudon. So I will nickname it, but it's going to keep the name. I just don't want it in all capitals. Make sure I can spell it right. I think it says it right up there. 
based on what's in the name, is this supposed to be like an ogre? I didn't want to call it Shrek, but... Okay, let's see its stats here. The nature, I'll have to check later, but... Yeah, special attack, special defense, massive... Speed. Oh, man. I didn't even think about this, but what item am I going to give a uh, Kyogre? Maybe... Yeah, I gotta think about that. Because, you know, Ice Beam, I'm gonna buy Thunder. I'm gonna keep Body Slam. I'm also supposed to teach it Surf. But, uh... Yeah, I'll just get out of here. Nothing to do left. Can't even Surf on that spot. Okay. Now that the storm has calmed, we can go into these buildings. The Pell's worn off. Wait, is it? I think it's this one. Yep. He bequeaths it to me. So it's like a ancient TM. Okay, you can't describe it then. We will move on. Pretty sure that's all that can be done. Let's go over here though, where we can't buy. Well, you know what? You could probably only buy max repels though. Nah, jeez. I'll have to go to the department store then maybe. I feel like, maybe should I do it now? Because then, that way Kyogre could actually, I probably will, because this fight could be a mess if I go against the Militic. With Kyogre though, it should definitely be able to take care of it. So we're actually going to take care of buying the TM for Thunder. Yeah, let me just heal first of all. I have to also decide. Let me look at the PC if there's like an item particular that I can give to Kyogre to hold. Because I'm like thinking Quick Hollow, maybe not because it's. Ooh, what about this? Oh, that's tempting. Black glasses, no. We just have it hold some mail. Okay. Oh well. We do have that. Slightly boosts though. Wait a second, did somebody else have Mystic Water? Who has it? Oh, well then maybe that's what I'll do. Because I mean I was gonna give the magnet to Pelper, I think it's still in. Or, if I wanna make Kyogre really lethal, you just give it the magnet. Well, then it's probably gonna be that. Mystic Water or Magnet. Yeah, so the thing about this time is... It does not move forward, unfortunately. Okay, I'll buy some repels here. What's the other one, I guess? Somebody has it. Oh, then you could buy some extra pills here too. Alright, I'm just gonna get 20 of these. Not sure how much money I have, like... Will I have enough to get all those, those other TMs? Ah, jeez, not the right floor. Here, as you can tell which TM it is by just reading the description. It's not those. It's also a TM for Hyper Beam. It's that one, but this is Blizzard. That's Thunder. This one's Fire Blast. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy Fire Blast. No, I don't think anybody can. I don't think Blaze could, but Blaze Cake is definitely enough. I'm curious, just what is on the top floor? Nothing. 
Okay. I think those, that last floor there though, to buy items. It's just for like decorating the base. Secret base. Okay, well, I have to close the episode out, but let's make sure I do this here. Oh, we gotta teach uh, Earthquake as well. Alright, so Kyogre, haven't fought it yet. Haven't fought with it yet, but. Maybe I'll go ahead and give it Surf as well. Or, you know, we could just deal with Hydro Pump for once. Okay, there's a couple other TMs as well, but I'm just gonna save this here now. And we will resume on the next episode, in which we will take on the gym leader and do other stuff. So thank you guys all for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, then please smash that like button and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And if you have any questions or comments of anything at all, then just put them in the comment section right below. And other than that, I will see you all next time.